Alright guys, welcome back. You've made it to the most enjoyable video of this unit. Um, we're going to talk about hydrates. And hydrates simply are ionic compounds that absorb water. So where would you use them? Where would you use a compound that would absorb water? Well, if you think of when you buy a pair of shoes or sneakers at the store, when you go and you buy any piece of electronic equipment, typically you will find a little packet in there and it says silica gel do not eat. Well, silica gel is not an ionic compound but it's very similar to one in that what it does is it absorbs water. And that's exactly what a hydrate is, is it's something that absorbs water and it's ionic. So how would you get the water back out of them? Well, think about that for a moment, pause the video, give it 10 seconds of thought. All right, well, the way to get water out of something is to heat it up. So if you took this ionic compound and you heated it up, the water would evaporate out, and then you just have the ionic compound again, and you could use it again to absorb more water. All right, to be able to name hydrates, you need to know some prefixes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through some prefixes, and hopefully you'll have some things here that will help you remember what the prefixes are. For example, the prefix for the number one is this thing. What is this? Sure, it's a monorail. So you hear the term mono for monorail. Okay, that's a monocle up on the left. Up on the right, it's monopoly. Down the bottom left, you see something that is actually monochrome. That's what that is, monochrome, single color. And this thing over here is something from the movie 2001, and it's called a monolith. So all of those mean one. By the way, monopoly, if you're confused, uh, monopoly means much more than the game. The monopoly would be a company that has a monopoly. For example, in Roanoke, there is one company that supplies all of the electricity. They have a monopoly. All right. Two. Well, if you look at all of these, they all start with DI. Even if you look at the, uh, the chemical compound, that's carbon dioxide, which means two. Dialysis is something that you do if your kidney fails and you're, you're separating your blood into two pieces, the good part and the bad. Diagonal, you are separating a square into two pieces. Dichotomy, you have two choices. Difference is the difference between two numbers. Digital computers are all about things that are either on or off. Again, that's two things. Number three, you've heard that prefix. That's called tri for tricycle. My favorite tricycle on the right. Um, so you should understand the prefix three for tri. Four is tetrahedron. We also talked about, um, if you remember, uh, in a previous video, we talked about tetrahedral shapes. Right, which are four-sided, like CH4 would be a tetrahedral shape, so we've talked about that. Five, we talk about pentagons, five-sided things. You should know that a five-sided thing is a pentagon. We also have six-sided things, which are called hexagons, uh, hexagonal shapes when you put together a quilt, hexagon. Seven, seven is something that um, is not as common, but when you think about uh, racing, especially for women, they have something in the Olympics which is called a heptathlon, and that is a total of seven events, is a heptathlon. So that's what seven is. Eight, you all know this one, that's an octopus. So you think about an octagon. So octa is the prefix for eight. Uh, my favorite of someone who did not pay attention to the stop sign, which is eight-sided. Unfortunately for nine, I don't have a good one. It's nana. Uh, and but it's very close to nine, so that should help you. And ten, there are things that you should know, like decade, which means ten, or decimal, which is a, uh, which means there are ten numbers in it. And decathlon, again, it is a an Olympic sport this time for men, which has ten events in it. All right, so you must know the prefixes. All right, and they are mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca. So pause the video, please. Write them down because you're going to need them. All right, so how do we name hydrates? Well, naming hydrates is pretty simple. If you look at the thing on the left, you say, what is that thing? Well, it sure looks like copper sulfate to me, and it is. In fact, it's copper 2-sulfate. Copper, remember, is a transition metal, and sulfate is SO4. It's one of the ones you have to memorize. And... Um, so it comes out to be copper 2 sulfate. Well, what about this 5H2O? Well, that means copper sulfate will absorb five water molecules. So the way we name it is we name it as, where's my pen? Thank you very much. 
copper two sulfate and the five is one two three four five so if we think about mono di tri tetra and five was you got it wait for it yeah it's penta because it's the pentagon penta hydrate so all we've done if you think about naming a hydrate is we have an ionic compound here and that you should already know to do and all we've done is say it's a hydrate hydrate means it has water and we're putting in a prefix which means five so that's the only thing that you're adding is this stuff right here so if you look at this you should be able to name this one pause the video and give it a try on your own all right well that's magnesium not to be confused with manganese that is sulfate Magnesium always takes on a plus two charge. It's an alkaline earth metal, so we leave it alone. And then we try and remember what the prefix is for seven. Yep, that's the heptathlon one. So that's heptahydrate. All right, go ahead and get the next one. Try that on your own. Okay, well this is iron, and it's sulfate. And sulfate takes on a 2 minus charge, which means iron needs to take on a 2 plus charge. So that's iron 2, sulfate. And again, we have heptahydrate. See how all this stuff fits together? It all builds? Yep, it does. All right. So what happens when we try and go the other way? Well, you should be able to go and uh, essentially look at what we did on the previous page. and then be able to do this one. All right? Pause the video, try it on your own. Well, sodium is Na. Fluorate is ClO3. Fluorate takes on a, what kind of charge? Minus one. Sodium takes on a plus one. So I don't have to write any additional subscripts. And it's monohydrate, so it's one water. That one is redundant, you don't need it. But it doesn't hurt to have it because when you have mono, remember mono means one. All right, try that one. Okay, calcium, nitrate, and calcium has a two plus charge and nitrate has a one minus charge, so I need to have two nitrates. And it has dihydrate, di means two, so it has two waters. How about the last one? See if you can do that. Okay, sodium is Na. Phosphite, well phosphate is PO4, so phosphite is PO3. This has a 3 minus charge and a 1 plus charge, so I have to have three sodiums. And then I crisscross. And I have to have tetra. Tetra is 4 hydrate. Okay. So that's it. You have to know your prefixes. You have to know how to name an ionic compound, obviously, or else you're toast. And you must be able to convert the name to the compound and vice versa. Right? That's it for hydrates. If you have any questions, find me in class. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.